Welcome back in to another beer review with yours truly, Nutmeg 2 Palmetto. Coming to you, as always, from my Midland studio down in South Carolina. If you may notice, the beer today is upside down. That is because it is a highly fruited sour from none other than New Grass Brewing Company. There's their logo, albeit upside down, out of Shelby, North Carolina. This is the infamous peanut butter banana fluffernutter. A sour ale brewed with toasted peanuts, marshmallow, banana puree, and natural flavors. Warning label, of course, right there. About it being highly fruited without pasteurization, keep cold and drink fresh. So we are going to leave it upside down for the duration for the duration of the widely accepted predetermined five minutes. It checks in at six and a half six percent, not six and a half, six percent alcohol by volume. There's been New Grass has been featured on the channel before. Once as a sour, once as a Marzen. Now again as a sour, of course highly fruited. I've had this beer before, but it actually didn't, funny story, it actually did not go through the predetermined process of rolling, shaking, or flipping upside down. So I am excited to do this proper, let it sediment, and crack it open with you fine folks. So let's give it a few more minutes, shall we? And check in a bit for the pop. Well, as you can see, it's got a deep, very light tan, light tan, almost light orange. Well, not really orange, but it, that yellowish orange, light tan type of color. Super thick. You're certainly not seeing anything through that. Let's take, get the nose. A lot of the sweetness coming through. Not getting, well, you're not getting the banana too much, but definitely getting peanuts, definitely getting marshmallow, a lot of sweetness, a lot of thickness, a lot of decadence. So now, that, especially now that the head's gone, let's waste no more time and take a sip, shall we? with six C's. So let me tell you about this beer. This has a very thick type of mouthfeel. It's sweet, but it's not, it's not like a super overpowering sweetness. Like I've had some fruit, fruited sour from Drecker. I've had fruited sour from 450 North and they all have a high sugar content. They kind of like punch in teeth almost with it. This one, it's definitely sweet, but you're not picking up on some like overbearing sugar, sugar quality of it. It definitely tastes, it definitely picks up a little more of that campfireness, so the marshmallow. That's where a lot of that comes from. The banana, the banana I'd say is almost more on the back end. It's not it's anything up front, it's not anything super noticeable, but it sits in your, it sits on your palate a little more and eventually goes down your gullet and you kind of pick up a little bit of a banana flavor. So it's not anything super up front with it, but it's more of the back end taste, which if you'll, you know, as long as you're not completely offended by bananas, that might work. Cause how many times do you have a beer and the aftertaste kind of does, kind of ruins it for you? Or how many times do you're kind of iffy half in, half out on banana 
and you get it up front and it kind of ruins the taste of the beer for you. Now, whether that's because you're a bit of a traditional beer snob and you don't like all these crazy adjuncts in it, or bananas just not your thing. Regardless of the point, it definitely can ruin the beer for you, but this one, you don't get it to way back here. It's a lot, of the, it's a lot more of the marshmallow up front. Uh, as far as the peanuts are concerned, you definitely get you definitely get a little bit of a creamy peanut butter flavor with it kind of mashes well with the marshmallow those two kind of play interchangeably throughout the majority of the flavor and then it kind of mellows out you lose that sweetness it's sour in the middle of your palate and then it's going down you just kind of get that banana so it's a very diverse kind of flavor palette uh, it, it's, it's, it's definitely up there The you know, the, the flavors you kind of have to think about a little bit more. It's not like you're not going to drink this beer and recognize everything right off the bat. This is a beer that actually, oddly enough, probably doesn't suit too well for a beer review because we try to keep these things a little tight. Um, and a lot of the notes in here, you gotta kind of let it sit a little bit. So, you know, the attention span society that we're in, you probably not going to hold up to the short attention spans of people but nonetheless it's a very good beer it's just it's kind of a gradual taste transformation throughout your palate you're not getting a lot up front one significant element you have to wait way towards the back end there's a little bit of a change in the middle so it's definitely one of those beers that you kind of have to Drink slow, appreciate, and maybe you should drink slow because it is highly fruited. There is sugar content in it. Maybe you should drink it slow. Maybe, just, maybe that's just Newgrass's way of like subconsciously telling the consumer to take take your time and enjoy it. With that being said, if you're ever in the upcountry area, stop by Newgrass. There's this. There's many other fruited sours. Grab it, crack it open, try it. I guarantee you will not be disappointed. If you want more from me, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so exactly what my videos drop, coming straight to you on your phone, tablet, mobile device, computer, what have you. If you want to recommend a beer to me or maybe even send me a beer, go ahead and email me, nutmeg2palmetto at gmail.com. We'll sort out all the fine details of that sort of arrangement. If you want the rest of my insanity, go ahead and follow me on my social media channels at nutmeg2palmetto on both TikTok and Instagram. There's a lot of little zaniness I like to do. I like to keep it fun, entertaining, interesting. Kind of give it a little bit of pop to your feed as you scroll by, scroll on by. So go ahead and follow that. Follow those for the rest of my shenanigans, if you will. That being said, again, if you're ever in the upcountry area, stop by, say hi to Brad and Zach. Tell them not make two palmetto sent you at Newgrass Brewing Company in Uptown Shelby. And uh, I'll take one more sip for you fine folks. Mmm, thickish. Thick-ish. Cheers. I'll see you next time.